It breaks down boundaries and it, it makes uh, the children more promiscuous as they grow older. The row over the teaching of relationship and sex education in Birmingham primary schools could be seen as an inevitable clash between liberal values and religious conservatives. We are having our children come home with material that contradicts our moral values. Parents are very angry. The protesters tell the media they're not homophobic, but Newsnight has seen evidence that offensive material is being shared on private message groups. With all due respect to that, that is somebody's individual opinion. And we've seen evidence that campaigners opposed to sex and relationship education are now coordinating nationally. They're holding regular meetings and lectures, and some are supplying templates for complaint letters that are being sent to schools across England. Say no to undermining parental rights and authorities. Say the protests in Birmingham started because of an equality programme called No Outsiders. The lessons are about embracing differences, including race, religion, gender, age and disability, as part of the legal requirement to comply with the Equalities Act. But it was specifically the teaching around LGBT issues and storybooks featuring same-sex families which drew criticism from the mainly Muslim parents at the school. They feel their religious values, which are also protected under the Equalities Act, are under threat. Amir Ahmed is one of the protest organisers. It's not about gay, lesbian rights and inequality. This is purely about proselytising uh, a, a homosexual way of life. So it's interesting you, that you use that word, proselytising. Um, you've also said that this is about indoctrination and recruitment. Do you think children can be recruited to be gay? Well, you, you can condition them to accept this as being a normal way of life and it, it makes uh, the children more promiscuous as they grow older. So you think that by being taught these lessons, children will possibly become more promiscuous? Absolutely, yes. And potentially gay when they wouldn't have been before? Well, I mean, uh, whether they become gay or not, but they can certainly enter into gay relationships. These parents By March, the campaign Amir was a part of had been successful in suspending the No Outsiders programme from seven Birmingham primaries. But we're going to have it abolished in every school in Birmingham, every school in the country. But daily protests are still being held outside another Birmingham primary school. Anderton Park doesn't teach No Outsiders, but they do have some of the same books. So they're telling me to step down? Yeah. Well, that's been one of the chants for a while. This is tough to hear this every day. When we came back after Christmas, we had a couple of parents just asking sensible questions about, I've heard you're going to be teaching children about sex, pornography, gay sex. Is that true? And then uh, I had uh, a meeting with a mum and she brought along uh, a member of her family and he, things changed from then. Two days later, there were leaflets being handed out, um, things saying they're lying to you, there's a gay ethos at this school. And we learned that a lot of these letters that we were seeing in leaflets were almost downloadable from the internet because they were almost identical to other schools as well. So who is behind the protests at Anderton Park? It's this man, property developer Shaquille Afsar. His children don't go to the school, but he says he got involved after his sister Rosina became concerned. My son came home with um, a book about transgenders, a boy that wants to dress up as a girl and he wants to have tea parties and it's okay to do that. Shaquille uses a WhatsApp group to coordinate the daily protests and has been supported throughout by Amir Ahmed. They have put parents into the bracket as if we are homophobic. That's far from the truth. All we are concerned is we are having our children come home with material that contradicts our moral values that we are trying to instill in our children. But while Shaquille says he and the other protesters are not homophobic, Newsnight has had access to a WhatsApp group administered by Shaquille with over 150 members, where people who appear to be parents are openly exchanging homophobic messages. Here are some of them. I'm totally against any type of gays and lesbians. Astag Firula, God help me, what is the dunya, the world coming to? 
Later, someone refers to an interview with a bisexual person as a dirty, filthy excuse for a human. I put some of these messages to Shaquille. Uh, just before seven o'clock in the evening, this person says, I believe Clarkson is a dyke. Does anyone agree? What do you think now, about Now, again, if you carefully monitor and if you look at that whole conversation in a full context, I will have clearly said that any comments towards the head teacher personally are not acceptable. There's another message here which I think is actually by one of the other people who leads the demonstrations outside of Anderton Park. Uh, it's not natural, it's the shatan, the devil's way, to trap humans into a sinful act and follow their desire. Yeah. That's on the group that you're so, leading. But you, need to, but you need to understand the, the group that I am uh, administrating. I'm not leading the group, I'm administrating. Well, that's yeah, fair, that's yeah. fair, you're so administering I, I'm in this, it. I'm administering but are the group. you saying to you're not I, saying to them I, the messages I've seen, you're not okay, calling if, them on if it. If you call, if you refer to some of my messages, now in, I'm yeah, sure... Yeah, I have so, seen some of your so messages. So if you refer yeah. to some of my messages, I always maintain respect for all, but you need to understand that every parent the further they're pushed out, the more they'll become frustrated, the more that they'll start to develop misconceptions and the more prob this prob bigger the problems become. Newsnight has seen that Shaquille is also a member of other WhatsApp groups which share information and material about campaigning against sex education. And across the country, it seems this pattern is being repeated. On the surface, it might seem like the protests in Birmingham are down to a peculiar set of circumstances particular group of people or a set of lesson plans. But with the law on relationship and sex education due to change in England next year, Newsnight has learned that there is in fact growing opposition to sex education and LGBT equality teaching across the country, including here in Bristol. And much of it seems to be being encouraged by groups of religiously conservative Muslims. Alia Hussein has been working with Bristol City Council on a strategy to try and calm parents' growing concerns. There is definitely concern and anxiety from parents and head teachers have um, uh, told me that they have received letters uh, from uh, certain parents um, who are very worried about the, um, the introduction of the curriculum. They are, um, there have also been some children who have either been withdrawn or there have been threats to withdraw children from school. What we really don't want is another situation like Birmingham. Where is the anxiety coming from? So the anxiety, I would say, is coming from the messages that are being circulated um, specifically on social media like WhatsApp. WhatsApp is um, very, very popular amongst um, many parents who don't always feel comfortable on Facebook and other public social media sites. Um, and uh, this is really what has caused the furore. The WhatsApp groups Newsnight has seen contain a range of activity, from ideas and updates to religious sermons. But there are particular groups whose material seems to be setting the agenda. Groups like SRE Islamic and Islamic RSE, who are holding regular seminars around the country. Perhaps the most influential, though, is this woman, Dr Kate Godfrey Fawcett, a psychologist and founder of the group Stop RSE. So they are normalising same-sex relationships. There's a whole load of storybooks ready um, that are actually already in schools, such as Heather Has Two Mummies, a story about homosexual penguins, you know, and they do it in a very clever, insidious way to brainwash our children. And it is brainwashing. I'm a psychologist, so I'm not speaking out of turn. It's actually a long social engineering programme to corrupt our children. Because if you get the hearts and minds of the children, you create the revolution. Dr Godfrey Fawcett is currently being investigated by the British Psychological Society over her campaigning activity. She says she's the victim of a witch hunt and is seeking to clear her name. But letter templates supplied by her website, Stop RSE, are now being used across the country by some worried parents who want to withdraw their children from lessons. A news night can now reveal that schools in Ealing, Nottingham, Bradford, Bristol, Birmingham, Manchester, Croydon and Northampton have all received letters resembling those produced by the Stop RSE website. And in Kent, one school has told us they've received the same letters from Christian families. Momentum is clearly building. A campaigner like Amir, who started off in his own neighbourhood, now tells me he's speaking to parents all over the country. So is there any way through? 
We're happy to uh, uh, li live with them, to, together with them, with, with mutual respect and tolerance. But that's not what they want. But how can it be tolerant when you believe that they are trying to convert children to be gay? If you well, believe that's a possibility, if you tell them their, li their lifestyle is morally wrong, how can you coexist in tolerance? We, we, we uh, you know, if someone who doesn't believe in my morals, I don't consider them Islamophobic. Uh, you, you can still live with mutual respect and tolerance, but this is more than that. It's like that they, they want to convert you. They want to convert your morality, uh, and, and, and that's just wrong. Is there a fundamental clash between religious values and equality teaching? Absolutely not. I think it's very dangerous to go down that road. Um, once you start saying things like that, it becomes about us and them, and these artificial lines are drawn between religious and secular society, or freedom and equality on one hand and religion on the other. That is absolutely not the case. This idea that it's, you know, religion versus equality is a misnomer because Muslims believe in equality and freedom as well. But as the changes to relationship and sex education become more widely known, those opposed say opposition from all faiths will intensify. And some have told us that if they're not listened to, the inevitable consequence will be large numbers of children being withdrawn from mainstream school.